Hey there, this is Wake Angel 2001 and this is what my apartment still looks like, at least the living room. The whole house looked like this uh, pretty recently and until just yesterday my room looked almost like this too. Um, we still haven't fixed the living room because the painter accidentally uh, messed up some parts on our back wall. You can see there's parts where cracks are forming so he's gonna have to scrape that paint off and repaint that wall. So for now, the living room is still a mess, but I am back home, I'm able to film again, and I'm able to work on my customs. So the first thing I wanted to do was make a supplement to my reviews of the, Cla of the Metal Sonic and Tails 2 packs from Tomy. Okay, so here are my the here's my Tails figures. There's the Jazz Wars Tails figure, uh, Tomy's Sonic Boom Tails figure, and the new modern Tails figure they made for the two pack. Now I want to take something I said in my review back. I said that they messed up the scaling, but in all truth, the scale isn't actually too far off. I mean, this is the proper height that modern Tails would be, assuming Sonic is this tall. You gotta remember, Jazz Wars is, are the ones who made their Tails figure too tall. So yeah, Tomio is okay with the scaling. But as you can see, the proportions are where they really messed up. Because although you see here, although the Boom Tails is a smaller figure than Jazz Wars' Tails, you can see where his proportions are still alright. His torso is long enough and his legs are that length. So you can see why it looks so weird and distorted the way that Tails is made in the um, in in this scale. Let's get the Jazz Wars figure out of the way for context so you can put the two of them next to each other. And you can see how Tails' hips, because of the way the torso is sculpted, his hips come all the way up to his armpits and it just looks weird and unnatural. So like, if they had just made Tails' torso the same size as this figure's torso and maybe shortened the legs a little bit, then it would have been fine. It would have been a perfect figure. But, uh, you know, aside from the weird way they pre pose the arms. But, um, yeah, you can see the complete and utter failure in proportion that is Tomy's modern Tails figure. Okay, and here are the classic Metal Sonics, with Jazz Wars is on the left and Tomy's on the right. So when Jazz Wars made their Metal Sonic, they sculpted it to assume a more or less neutral stance. And he has articulation in his neck, wrists, ankles, and he has universal joints in his shoulders and hips. Tomy's Metal Sonic is sculpted in a dynamic stance, um, and it has universal shoulders and hips, but nothing in the ankles or, or wrists. His head also swivels. So, um, this is pretty much a perfect case study of a figure s sculpted to stand straight, but with articulation, and a figure with almost the same articulation, but in a pre-assumed stance. So, um... Oh, by the way, as far as the paint job goes, you have to remember I did custom paint my Metal Sonic, so the silver paint was originally the same dull gray paint that this one has, and he didn't even have the circle in his belly, it was just a plain yellow belly. However, Jazz Wars did paint the Jet Booster on the back. I may have added a silver tinge in the middle, but this was pre-painted. The uh, Tomy one didn't even bother to paint the rear engine, so that's one that's one gimme for the Jazz Wears. All right, so as you can see, when you have when you have um, sculpting, you can when when the figure is in a neutral stance, you can use the articulation to do to do basic stuff. You can have a pointing gesture. Um, you can you can you can have his his hand up to do a, a come hither. Like you can you can separate the feet out a bit to make it look to make it look like he's more mid step or look or or in the middle of a turn. Um, because he lacks knee joints, it's hard to actually get a a, a mid step or running pose. But it is just about manageable a little bit. So it actually looks a little bit more convincing if you put one foot back. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Metal Sonic doesn't even really run. He actually just kind of flies. But you know, it, it it's possible and doable. So like, you can make your own poses even if he's a little bit limited. 
I mean, more articulation is always better, especially if he had elbow and knee joints, but there you go. The problem with this guy is since he's pre-sculpted, um, there's only so much you can do. You can't have a come at me bro thing with that hand, but um, unless you want to do something doofy like the peekaboo, there really isn't much that you're going to be able to do. As, especially with his legs. I think you can put like one leg behind him, um, and as long as the other one stays flat, you can have something resembling a stance, but you know, what, what's he doing here? So you see, there's very little that I can do with this Metal Sonic because of the way he's because of the way his arms and legs are already sculpted in this one very specific pose. Like, like it's a very nice stance initially, and a statue of this would be pretty nice. But there isn't much else I can do with it, so it's not much of an action figure. And finally, here's a comparison between the modern Metal Sonics. To the left, of course, is Jazzwares' original Metal Sonic, which is probably one of the best figures that the Jazzwares Sonic line ever produced because it is just freaking amazing in every way. Um, I'm standing him on top of a bread box, that's why the stance isn't exactly flat here. Um, then there is the Sonic Boom Metal Sonic made by Tomy, a figure that's sculpted for a neutral stance but has more limited articulation. And then, of course, the new Metal Sonic that they just made. Um, so of course, uh, this is actually one of the least articulated figures from the Boom line. He doesn't even have universal shoulders. Uh, this is a very basic figure that really can't do much on his own. Like, you can have him reaching out, you can have him kicking. You know, there's, there's, this this is a basic five point of articulation figure that you just can't do much with, but he compares favorably with, you know, like the stuff they're putting out for Star Wars right now. This figure was really just meant to be displayed in a stance, and maybe you can have him reach for something. He can also interact with vehicle sets because he can at least sit. Um, the Metal Sonic that they made for this time, he at least has universal jointed shoulders, but, you know, like I said, because of the pre-assumed bend of his elbows, there really isn't too much he can do with them. He can at least look more like he's ready to fight with his arms all posed up like that. So I guess there, there, he actually does have a few places you can put his arms that they'll still look pretty good. So he's actually pretty poseable, and um, the fact that his elbows are bent this way are, isn't too bad. I mean, if you, if you look at his elbow bends, they're not actually quite as severe as the elbow bends that the Classic has, which are bent like almost a full 90 degrees, and he has his wrist rotated so that um, it's facing upwards. Here, not only are the elbows not bent quite as far, but his wrist is actually lined up like, you know, like instead of, instead of being up towards your own face, it's more sideways. So that alone actually gives you a bit more freedom with what you can do with his arms. So he looks more natural doing more things. Of course, the big problem is the way his legs are sculpted, because like I said, you literally have only two ways that you can put his legs without him falling over. And this stance he has is so widespread, it almost, it almost always looks like he's on the back foot. He's backing up. I mean, I don't even really have to describe how the superior articulation of a Jazzwares figure simply allows you to do a lot more stuff. Like, I can do whatever I want with him. I can even make this Metal Sonic look like this. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's just not fair to compare this to that. So, yeah, that's your comparison for the Tomy figures versus the original Jazzwares ones. I hope you come away with a lesson about how pre-assumed poses can actually really hurt a figure.